Hi Polish peeps, welcome to my channel. Um, this is a sort of impromptu, just kind of experimental video. Um, when I did the Eye Glow Polish to Swatch and Review, which if you missed that, I will link it down below in the description box. One of the questions that um, one of my subscribers asked, and I apologize, I don't remember who it was, <laughs> um, was do these polishes stamp? Um, so just impromptu, I thought we would test it and see if any of these polishes stamped. I tried to, uh, pick polishes out of all of the ones that we swatched that were the most opaque, um, because in my experience, polishes that are not opaque in like one coat usually don't stamp. So, um... This is an experiment and I have not done this beforehand so um, this is something that I will be experimenting also for myself and I'm actually extremely curious to see if these polishes stamp. Um, if you don't uh, or if you, I guess if you missed the first video the swatch and review of these polishes, these polishes are um, or were, I actually have not found them since I bought all the ones that I have, but they were, um, being sold at my Dollar Tree here, so, um, you could get three in a package for a dollar, which is a really great deal. So, um, if these polishes stamp and they were actually less than a dollar in the store, um, that's going to be freaking amazing. So, um, I think I have everything that I need. I have chosen randomly six colors out of, um, I don't know how many I have, I think 40 or something like that. I just picked a random plate that I have. I've used this plate, um, several times and had pretty good results with it. So I picked a random plate. I have my queen stamper. Um, there's only maybe two three stampers that I use kind of on a regular. This is one of them. Um, and I've had, you know, no issues with a stamper. I have my scraper and I have some, um, swatch sticks that we're going to stamp on. So, um, we'll see if they stamp good over white and black. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and get started. Let me make sure I have all of my stuff here. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you guys can get a little bit closer. So we'll start with the screen polish. Um, and like I said, this is experimental for me. I've not done this previously, so it'll be very interesting to see if these do stamp. Um, and I'm pretty excited about this experiment. Although I have received some feedback from you guys saying that you have not been able to find these polishes where you are located. So um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of sad about that because I really love them. And so um, I hope that at least some of you are able to find them. And we're going to look at how this stamped. So I feel like it's stamped okay, and I don't think I got the best pickup on that, but I feel like it's stamped okay over white, and not so great over black. Um, it's not quite opaque over black, as you guys can see, um, but that is, and it's just a, it's kind of a darker green, but I mean, it's not the worst stamping job for a 40 cent polish <laughs> um and like i said i don't think i got the best pickup on that one so let's pick another one this is a blue but it has that kind of like shimmery finish going on there um so let me see i think we'll do this image right here and see how that picks up i'm gonna try and get a little bit better pickup on that one so let's try covering the whole image and scraping and pick up so I can kind of tell already this one's probably not going to stamp the greatest well, let's go ahead and try it and see yeah so I feel like this one is kind of questionable I mean you could probably get it to stamp okay over white 
definitely not, oh, let me get back in frame, definitely not the best over black. Okay, so let's pick another one. This one is kind of a cream color or like a, um, I think I described it previously as like a white with a little bit of brown. And let's try this image right here. So we're going to, this one's a little bit more opaque. It's like a cream formula on that one. Pretty good pickup with that. So let's see how it stamps. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how that one was. It's really light, but if you're looking for just like a little light stamping on something, it looks like it would work great over lighter colors and actually not too bad over black if you or looking for like a little off-white cream color over black. So I'm kind of impressed with that one. Actually, I mean, I'm impressed at all that these, <laughs> that these stamp at all um, because they were so cheap in the store, you know. So I guess I should be kind of happy if they stamp at all. But it looks like to me these the cream formulas of these polishes are going to stamp the best. I kind of feel like that's what you're going to end up with. And that one did not pick up that great at all. So I'm going to try again. Because I do think that this, uh, let's see, let's pick, let's do this one right here. That this formula will stamp maybe not this one okay so you guys can see this one is not going to stamp very well so if you do get I feel like let me clean my stamping plate I feel like if you get these it'll just kind of be like an experimental process for you guys um, because obviously not all of the creams um, are going to stamp from this, um, particular brand, and also, um, not all of the finishes from this brand are going to stamp. So, I do feel like you kind of just have to experiment for yourself. Not the greatest pickup on that one, but I did want to kind of at least get it to go on the swatch stick so you guys can see what that color looks like so if you do manage to get this one stamp and you do have this one it's kind of what it would look like i guess over white and over black so not the best but again not the worst okay i'm back um for some reason my camera cut off so hopefully <laughs> we'll make it to the end of the video um so i have two more to swatch for you guys this one is like a shimmery pink um i'm really curious about this one so let's use this image right here let me zoom back in so you guys can see so we're gonna stamp this one out and see how it works okay so that one is not going to stamp at all. Um, we are going to scratch that one off the list. So if you get any from this um, brand, the ones with this particular shimmery formula will not stamp. I'm not surprised actually. This one is an extremely pigmented red, pinky red. It has a little bit of pink in it. I know you guys can't tell. Um, but this one is probably the most opaque out of the ones that I picked. So let's see if this one stamps. I'm going to use this image right here. So let's cover the whole image and then see what we get. 
Oh, see? That one's not going to stamp either. So, I feel like it's kind of... I guess in my opinion, it's not really worth it um, to try and stamp with these polishes. Um, if it's all you've got and you want to give it a try, I would say, yeah, go for it. Some of them may stamp, but I'm going to venture to say majority of them are not going to stamp. I just don't think they're opaque enough. Um, but they are great polishes. Again, um, super impressed with the formula in case you guys forgot. I will show you guys kind of, um, I have two of those. Just so. Um, this is, let me zoom out, all of them again on this watch wheel, with the exception of these on this end. Um, but again, if you guys um, can pick some of these up, again, really amazing formulas on their own. Highly recommend them, but as far as stamping goes, they are not going to be the best. Um, you guys may hear my washer. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's it. That's, uh, the end of this experiment. Um, I hope that was helpful for you guys that are able to pick up any of these polishes. And, um, this was a really good experiment. I may do this again with, with some other, um, mainstream pol polishes. You know, I really like to share the cheaper mainstream polish brands with you guys when I can find them. So we may do this experiment again, um, in the future with, um, other polishes that I happen to score and want to share with you guys. So if you like this video um, and you're not subscribed to my channel, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I would love to got, have you guys um, join me on a regular basis and um, hit that notification bell so you can see when I do post uh, videos in the future and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!